Welcome to Shep Rambles. I'm Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Eh, anything or <laughs> everything. So what are we going to ramble about today? Well, how about the question of freedom of speech uh, and whether or not it's for real or if it's an illusion? That's the question. And... Uh, Recording things a little bit more differently, uh, using a webcam. Um, obviously, I'm using, <laughs> if this was my phone, it would be a very awful one indeed. I would have downgraded uh, since my first video. But the uh, reason why I'm doing this is because there is an article that I came across about a guy that is getting sued because of a review that he left, um, which I thought was just insane when I saw this uh, review. So what I want to do is pull this uh, article up so that way I can read it uh, uh, and we can kind of talk and, 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 and discuss it. So go ahead and click on a few uh, things here. We'll do some uh, some sizing. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm like uh, totally uh, professional uh, on this uh, video. <laughs> eh, you know, it's you, you get older and you don't worry about things anymore, so that's uh, just how it is. Oh, hey, by the way, uh, sporting a new haircut. Uh, what do you, what do you think? You like? You dig? Um, a lot of my gray hair was was cut out when I got it. <laughs> when uh, when I looked on the floor after the lady cut my hair, I saw a lot of gray, and I'm like, wow, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, well, it does. Also. Uh, age. I'm nearsighted in case you're wondering, but still, I have to read this article. Okay, so. So here is a guy who left a three-star review. It eventually actually becomes one star, but you'll, you'll see. So he's being uh, sued uh, by this Branson attraction. So there's a Bigfoot-themed Branson attraction and they filed a lawsuit over a trip advisor review left by a Kansas cattle farmer a, a cattle farmer I, just a simple farmer simple rancher it's not like this guy's gonna have a lot of money he's just a simple farmer he's getting sued really come on Bigfoot on the strip which opened in May 2017 is a fun park that features thrill rides, a mini golf course, arcade, interactive virtual theater, and a tour of Bigfoot Farms, which boasts the largest herd of Scottish Highland cattle in the Midwest. Well, that sounds exciting. Sounds like my place. Let's take a look at this uh, Bigfoot Fun Park here. All right, so this is Bigfoot Fun Park. Yeah, they look like they're having a lot of fun here. Uh, Bigfoot Super Swing. Yeah, thumbs up. Gravity Bomb. Where's this place at? Is it Branson? Bran I've been to Branson, Missouri. You know what's at Branson, Missouri? is a Titanic Museum. That's cool. I really enjoyed that. What do we got here? The Action Tower, Bomb, Gravity Bomb, Super Swing, Adventure. Oh, let's look at the arcade. That's what, that's what I want to see is the arcade. Our arcade is new and state of the art. Variety of games. Blah, blah. World's largest Pac-Man. World's largest space invaders. Wizard of Oz. Oh, there's music. <laughs> Woo! Oh, 
I'm not careful, I'm gonna have this Numa Numa thing. Oh, okay, it stopped. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> uh, so, all kinds of interesting games, videos. Oh, let's look at the video. 42 seconds. I'm like totally getting like all sidetracked. Oh, it's that music song again. The area's newest games. Yeah. Now see, this is my type of park, all right? This is this is what I like doing. Looking at a bunch of cattle. I don't know about that. Oh. Yeah, those things never work. Those little claw things. All right, I think we get the idea. Uh, so jobs, you guys want a job? Job openings? Guides, drivers, ride operator, arcade technician, graphic designer. What else do they have here? Group, party rooms, discovery expedition. What's that? I don't know. Bunch of stuff. All right. So going back to this. On March 3rd, Randy Winchester and his daughter Emily visited Branson for an annual meeting of the Heartland Highland. Heart what the heck is playing? Well, it's probably this. Okay. We don't need backgrounds music. <laughs> Can we have not, not have any interruptions here? All right. So anyway, they took a tour of the Bigfoot Farms with other meeting attendees. And after returning to his home in Johnson County, Kansas, uh, Randy logged on to TripAdvisor, uh, an online travel site. In case you don't know what TripAdvisor looks like, that's this. It's the little owl thing here, right? TripAdvisor. So that's this place here. Has anyone ever used this? I haven't. It's kind of like, I guess, what is it, like Priceline or something? Kind of figure out, oh, this is the kind of trip that I want to do, and you kind of find the uh, uh, best flight, best rooms, prices, stuff like that, anyway. Uh... He left a review of Bigfoot on the Strip, which is, here it is. Oh, is this his? I think this is his. Yeah, this is his review. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so the Branson attraction later claimed, and it, basically they're, they're, they're suing him because of this review. Uh, that he left and saying that this review was born of an evil motive and has exposed the business to contempt and ridicule. You ask me, I think it sounds like a guilty conscience. <laughs> Initially, Randy had given Bigfoot on the Strip three out of five stars on TripAdvisor. But since... Um, Uh, since these guys are being a bunch of douchebags, he, he changed it to he changed it to a one star. So this is kind of like a, a summary, but let's read that whole thing. Let's read the whole thing and see what he has to say. So he says, "We did the Bigfoot Safari tour as part of a large group. The ten dollar price tag is about right for what we got. Basically, a tour through some pretty rugged country on some pretty narrow roads." They promote the fact that they have the largest herd of highland cows in the Midwest. You spend about five to ten minutes feeding them range cubes at the beginning of the tour and see maybe ten of the cows. Then it's off to the hills you go with a guy telling some pretty fanciful tales along the way. All in all, a decent experience, but had we paid more than the ten dollars, I would have been disappointed. Now, I don't think, now just this part of it so far, I don't think that sounds kind of honest. He's not saying that he had a bad time. He's just being honest. He's just saying, you know, hey, you know, this, 
I think we got what we paid for. I'm glad we didn't pay more. We would have been really disappointed. This kind of makes me think of the, you know, the Han Solo movie um, and uh, The Last Jedi. Because when my family and I went to go see The Last Jedi, we went and saw it at IMAX and saw it in 3D. And when I walked out of there, you know, at first I was like, oh, that wasn't that bad. And then I started thinking about it and thinking about it. And, and, uh, and I was like, I we overpaid for a movie that was really not that good. Um, <laughs> and that's all this guy is saying. He's just saying, hey, you know, 10 bucks, it, it was fun. We got, we got our money's worth, and, you know, I'm just glad I didn't pay any more than that. I don't see anything wrong with what he posted. Um, uh, but then here it says... Since posting the above review, a person identifying himself as an owner of Bigfoot on the Strip has called my daughter on her cell phone repeatedly, has contacted my daughter by email, has tried to call my home phone at 8.30 p.m. on a Saturday, bunch of stalkers, has attempted to contact me by email, and has contacted the person who coordinated our tour to complain about my original review. The owner has also advised my daughter by email that he and his partners would likely be suing both of us. I have significant reservations regarding any business run by someone who seems to think it is an acceptable business practice to contact family members and associates of a reviewer because they seem to be unhappy with the review. Consequently, I am changing my three-star review to a one-star. So, yeah. So that's the review right there. Um, and kind of going in back into the article. So Bigfoot on the Strip, they filed a lawsuit on April 13. So this, um, it's now June 5th, so it was a little, little bit ago, but I just now found this article. Um, they filed it against both Winchesters as well as their family business, Dancing Cow Farms. What does their business have anything to do with it? They're they're like, my goodness, this Bigfoot on the Strip, they're like spiteful. I mean, talk about, I mean, you guys suck. That's all I got to say. I mean, you, you go after them. And, you know, there's like really, there is no need for this at all. Let's take a look at uh, Dancing cow farms here Scottish Highland Dancing Cow Farms was established in Wellsville, Kansas in 2010 we started with a herd of seven Scottish Highland cattle we continue to grow if you're looking for grass fed beef to start your own herd blah 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 um, okay just a very simple website you know, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, some of the best websites are, you know, very simple. So, you know, I can, you know, I'll be honest. I can tell that, you know, this is probably a, a very hardworking, you know, your basic down-to-earth, hardworking American. You know, no one handed this to him. He worked hard for for what he has. And then these douchebags here at Bigfoot on the Strip who uh, don't like what someone has to say decides to go ahead and sue them. And this is what my whole subject is in regards to freedom of speech. Is it an illusion? I mean, I'm in America. This this is in America. Not, not obviously people that are watching this aren't, you know, not everyone is, is in America. But generally you're free to say what you want uh, until someone doesn't like what you have to say. So I'm, I'm beginning to think that there really is no such thing as freedom of speech because these days you got people who they will speak their mind about something, about something they believe in, and they wind up losing their job. 
um, or they get thrown in jail. Now, I guess that depends upon the type of country. Now, I know there's a I know there's a gray line, you know, as far as when you take things a little too far. Um, uh, and there's the whole thing with uh, Roseanne, Roseanne Barr. I thought about doing a separate video about that, but uh, I I don't know um, honestly if I really want to do one. If if you guys want me to. Um, Put something in the comments and we can discuss it but uh my whole take on the thing with roseanne Barr is i think uh they they totally blew that way out of proportion um i think roseanne was just making a joke um i don't think she was being racist i don't think she is racist um i just i think she just made a bad joke and they just took it as an opportunity to blow it way out of proportion and cancel her show and make her out to this be this big evil person which she really is not so but anyway that's my short little snippet on Roseanne Barr but anyway this just goes back to the whole freedom of speech thing it's like oh well you're free to speak your mind uh, as long as it's politically correct um, as long as you don't make someone mad it's it's ridiculous it is really ridiculous. I mean, you, you just don't know, you don't know what to expect these days of what's going to happen. Um, and it makes you, I've noticed that in my older years, going around um, to places, people were relatively quiet. Um, people were not as open as they used to be. And I think it's because people are afraid that they're going to say something that's going to offend someone. And they don't mean to offend something, someone. And um, I've learned from uh, a great person that no one can make you offended. No one, no one can make you, no one can, no one can make you do anything. So if someone says, will you offend me? Well, that's a lie. No one can make you do anything. You get offended because you choose to get offended. That's the truth. If you get mad, someone didn't make you mad, you chose to get mad. If you got offended, it's because you chose to get offended. That's the truth. That's not a point of view. That's not an opinion. That is just hard fact. And if you can't deal with that, I'm sorry. But no one forces you to do something. That is your choice. Um, and if you have a weak backbone and get offended by, the, by every little thing, well, then you're the one that's got the problem. And maybe you need to do a little soul, soul searching and... Uh, work things out I guess instead of making everyone else's life miserable like this Bigfoot on the strip I mean this is ridiculous I mean the guy was just and, and let's let's get back to this so here he's saying that um, they're suing for libel negligence and torturous interference what the heck is torturous interference I've never heard that term that that sounds like something a, a, a lawyer came up with. Lawyers are evil. They're, lawyer, man, the, the, you know, the problem with, 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 uh, with uh, America is, is lawyers and insurance. <laughs> They're, lawyers are, cause nothing but trouble because they don't care about the truth. All, all they care about is making a show in front of a judge, and whoever makes the best show is the one that wins. Um, and insurance is a complete ripoff. They're a bunch of scam artists. That'll be another video. <laughs> so many ideas for videos. Um, but here, you know, they're saying, oh, they did not take the tour and they did not pay $10 to take the tour. 
the tickets cost nearly 40 bucks you know and all this other stuff um and like how was this guy supposed to defend himself i'm sure he probably didn't keep a receipt i mean if you go out to a uh a place do you keep receipts i i don't really think to keep a receipt unless he paid on a card man that'd be awesome if he paid on his credit card or something He'd be like no i paid 10 bucks it's here it is but yeah, you know, and uh, of course, you know, you kind of look, read in between the lines on this stuff. When you have a business that is constantly calling and kind of harassing, heck, if you ask me, I think Randy should do a counter lawsuit. Because that, I mean, what this company is doing is ridiculous. Of course, the company is saying, oh, well, no, we're not doing this. Um, but look at this stuff. They're, 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 they're suing them for $25,000 uh, and attorney's fees and costs. Where do you get this $25,000 from? Really? Seriously? You know, they just, they pull this number out of thin air uh, because it's like, oh, we're going to teach you a lesson. And if it means that we're going to put you into bankruptcy and shut your business down, well, well, that'll teach you for, for leaving any type of review. You know, I mean, you see some, and, and, and according to this, this is not the first time that, that, that something like this has, has ever happened. This has happened before. So it's like, you know, you want to give an honest review on something, but if someone doesn't like it, they're going to shut you down and they're going to teach you a lesson. And it gets to the point where um, people are afraid to speak their mind. So you get into this whole politically uh, correct thing. So, um, which makes me think of the Orville. And you're probably thinking, what? How does that, how does that connect? There, uh, there's this episode that I really liked. Yeah, majority rule, and it was kind of it's 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 kind of uh, scary because they go to this planet to where like their justice system is based on votes it's basically based on social media so the majority rules basically so um whether whether you're right or whether you're wrong if a lot of people upvote you or downvote you um that's gonna de depend on whether you're guilty or not and so they were showing uh, 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 a part and part of the, the show, which is a great show, by the way. Um, it, it truly is the spiritual success successor to Star Trek, I think. Um, that can be a whole nother video, but there's a guy who just who accidentally just bumped into someone else, and the guy got all mad and just downvoted him. And in and, and, and it's it, it, it's crazy, it's like well, it was just an accident. Um, and in a world like that, you could say something that someone doesn't agree with and they downvote you. And if you get too many downvotes, then they, they, they take you to this room and they lobotomize you. Um, they, they consider it uh, a form of, uh, um, I don't know, therapy or I forget what, what their term was, but what, but here it is, you can see how he's wearing the, the, uh, the hat. But oh, and here's the here's a, a a picture. He's like, oh, I I I agree with what you're saying. I'm gonna go ahead and up you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, um, if you haven't checked out the Orville, um, it's good. It's it's a great sci-fi show. Um, 
it, it's got your uh you know your typical uh seth mcfarlane uh humor but it's not all humor and i think that's 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 what i like about the show but anyway um check it out and if you have checked that out let me know what you think about the show um even though that's not what this uh video is about but <laughs> hey i warned you this is a, this is a, a show about rambling and i ramble so there's no false advertising here um anyway uh they try to do a crowdfund campaign uh with a fundraising goal of twenty five thousand dollars that kind of scares me there that they were trying to do a fundraising goal that tells me that they were they they were fearing that they were going to lose but unfortunately um they weren't able to raise the money um and here in this article uh they're explain or this article this <laughs> this part of the article they're explaining that this is not the first time that someone's being sued over by a business. Um, here's one here where it says a New York woman is being sued by for one million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> one million dollars by a gynecologist after she left a negative review online. Sir, where do you come up with? I maybe someone can answer this question for me. If if someone was sued for one million dollars and and they and they won, so the the victim, uh, the person who got sued, how in the world are they supposed to pay that? Or would they just have to file bankruptcy? Were they? I mean, where do you come up with with that? I mean, does that just like ruin that person's? Uh, uh, life for for the like how does that work anyone know like anyone know anyone that's been sued for some huge amount and and uh like what did they do i, I don't know I, it's it's just like where do you get that like who has a million dollars honestly um here's one where a florida couple was sued by daughter's daycare after leaving a review that stated Warning, child endangerment, abusive environment. But, uh, it, you know, I don't have to go in and continue to read the rest of this, but you're, you're getting kind of the idea, um, of, uh, of what's going on here. And I'll put a link to this article in the description so that way you can check this out. But, um, I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, have you heard about this? And um, are there any other examples of, uh, of, of lawsuits like this happening that you know of? And do you know what the outcomes are? Um, so these lawsuits that have happened... What actually, what were the outcomes of it? Did they actually win these lawsuits? Like this, this lady that was sued for a million dollars, did this business actually uh, win? Let's take, let's click on this. For a moment, I thought this said Doctor Who. <laughs> Doctor sues patient for one million dollars for posting negative reviews online. Uh, Manhattan woman, blah, 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 blah. June, I, I thought this said Noonie and Soon. Star Trek's on the mind. Gave them one star on Facebook. Truth is an absolute defense. If you do that and don't make a broader conclusion, they're running a scam factory. And you can write a truth review that I had a bad time with this doctor. She doesn't regret, regret writing review and will continue to fight to the end that she has to. Well, good for her. Good for her. So, I mean, do you know of any other examples like this? Of things like uh, where this has happened and maybe that the business actually won the lawsuit? Huh. 
<laughs> this was timed out, apparently. Um, I would be interested um, to know. So, sorry if I'm not looking at you. It's because I'm uh, doing that and doing that. So, anyway. Uh, that is my ramble for today. I mean, really, is freedom of speech a thing? Or is it an illusion? I mean, honestly, if you think about Nazi Germany, there was freedom of speech until you said something that the government didn't agree with, and then you were rounded up and taken away. So no matter where you go, you are free. I mean, everyone has agency. Everyone has the freedom to make a choice and to do something. But the consequences of those choices is something else. So freedom of speech, does it exist? Or are we just led to believe that it exists? Let me know your thoughts. Um, In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Um, If you like this video, click like. If you don't, I'll sue you for a million (laughs) dollars. Just kidding. (laughs) Just kidding. Um, But uh, subscribe if you uh, want a notification on any new videos. And uh, I will see you around. We'll see you on the next Ramble video.